Do you want a sauna or will you thrive with Hive? Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And you know, I've been a long time user of Asana. Asana has quickly become one of the most popular project management tools in the world. But recently I was introduced to Hive and I have been very impressed as I've been trying things out in Hive, as I've been managing a few mini projects here within the Hive space. So in today's video, I wanna give a few comparisons between Hive and Asana and see if you may want to try out Hive for yourself. So here we are, I've got a test project that we're gonna be looking at here in Hive. And at first glance, you're probably saying this looks a little bit more like Trello because we've got a Kanban view of this particular project. We've got things that are unstarted in this column we've got things in progress, and then we've got things that are completed. Well, of course, you know that in Asana, you can have a board view just like this as well. However, when you create a project within Asana, you have to make that choice. Is it going to be a list or is it going to be a board? Unfortunately, you cannot have both. It's either or. Well, one of the great things about Hive is that you can view your work in so many different ways. So up here in the right hand side, we have an area called change layout. And as you can see, there are six different ways in which we can view our project. So for example, maybe you want to view your project in a Gantt chart. Maybe you want to see where things are laying out here. And I just have a few things with due dates here. But as you can see, just like a typical Gantt chart, I can change things on the fly. I can drag things to the right or to the left and see how my duration of the test project here is going to last. Uh, you don't want a Gantt chart. Maybe you want to see a team view. This might be my favorite view here within Hive is where I can see everyone's work in a nice, concise list. Um, I know sometimes when you're looking at things in a Kanban view, Often you will have a filter or some other way to take a glance as to who is doing what, but I really like this team view within Hive where I can get a nice grasp of how many tasks do I have compared to my coworkers or compared to other people that I'm working with. So this is really, really flexible here, this change layout, as you can see the six different ways in which you can view your projects. Now, another area where I've been very impressed with Hive is how it integrates with so many other tools. Now, of course, we know that Asana integrates with a number of other applications, but beyond integrations, isn't it great when an application just does what you want out of the box? Well, let me introduce you to something that you can do in Hive, which is to create a form without having to interact or integrate with anything else. Here you can see, you can select your profile picture and then come down to forms and you can add a custom form. Now I'm not gonna start a new form. I've already created a form here. So let me just hit the edit button so I can show you all the goodness here within the form creator. You can give it a title, a description, and then you've got all these options here on the right hand side everything from check boxes radio buttons short text long text all that stuff and even give it a custom confirmation message but of course the beauty of any form when you're working with a project management tool is you can tell it what to do with that information so you can see here, once the form is submitted, I've checked this box which says each time a form is submitted, it will be added to a selected project and assigned to a team member. So here I've selected my project. Here I want it to be assigned to me. And you can even add a template if you want. I'm not gonna add a template, but you can if you choose. So I'm just gonna save that. And then what we can do is we've got this link which we can share with our customers or coworkers, whoever this form is intended for. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to open up a new tab here and let's just paste that link in there. So here we are with our custom form. So again, you could be a customer who may be receiving this link. Maybe you want to send this out to all the members of your team. Uh, just a very simple form that I've created here. It says a feature request. Please let us know something. Uh, what kind of request is this? I'm going to say it's a bug fix. Please tell us about it. I don't like the way it looks. Okay, I'm gonna hit submit. 
again, you can customize your thank you message. So let's go back. Let's go back to our Hive project. And you will notice there is something new in the unstarted column. Here is that feature request. And just like we told it to, it's been assigned to me. All right, so I'm going to open this up. And here is all the information that was submitted in that form. So whether you're a support team, whether you're wanting to get unsolicited information from other members of your organization, whatever the purpose may be for that form, you can have it brought in directly into your project. And maybe now I need to follow a specific workflow, right? Now I need to do something with this particular task. Now, speaking of a particular task, let's open up one of our tasks here within Hive. I want to show you some of the features and functionality. Now, a lot of this may look very consistent with Asana or other project management tools, whether it's adding a description, whether it's adding a progress in terms of what stage it is in within this particular project. If you want to have a conversation, right, you want to add a comment in here, or you want to add an attachment and a label, et cetera, et cetera. But what's Sometimes it's the small things that make the biggest difference. And one of the things that I've really appreciated about Hive is the date feature. So if I click on dates, by default, you know, this is a due date, right? I can select a due date for that task. No big deal. But something that most of you are always looking for, and I'm looking for as well, is the ability to quickly and easily select a start date. We know that if we go to Asana, yeah, we have a due date, and that's what we can select here. But there's no way that I can select a start date quickly from this screen. Here within Hive, all I have to do is select Add a Start Date. And now I can say, you know what, I'm going to start that on Thursday. That's my first click. My second click is going to be Thursday. I can quickly and easily see the duration of this task. I'm going to hit Close. There's my dates right there. And when I go to a alternate view, such as the Gantt chart in particular, Here's that, say, no, here it is, that right report uh, for new product, right? It makes sense. I can't view it in the Gantt chart if it doesn't have some type of duration, but I can see that right here. So again, very quickly and easily, I can click on any of those things in this new view, and I can adjust or change or see the duration for this particular task. So yeah, sometimes it is the little things that make the biggest difference. I might also add one of the things that I personally prefer, and this is maybe bringing in a combination of Trello, is having the view of your task front and center. In Asana, something we have this left and right view most of the time. Now, of course, you can expand this if you want to full screen, but sort of by default, if you're looking at your list on the left-hand side, you've got a bit of a, a squished view of your tasks on the right-hand side. I really do appreciate that when I click on a task, right? If I go over here and I go back to that feature request, it comes up full screen. It's taking up most of the screen. It's just a lot more comfortable, I find, to work with my tasks here within Hive. Now, one of the last things I want to share with you has to do with having a conversation within Hive. Of course, any project management tool worth its weight is going to have the ability to communicate directly with other team members. If we are inside of a task, of course, we have this comment section here. These comments will be uh, linked and, and kept here within this particular task, very similar to Asana as we have our comment section here. Of course, Asana goes one step further. It has a conversations tab tab where you can have a conversation with everyone within this project. However, I've always found that the conversations tab seems a little, a little static, right? I have to go away from the rest of my list. These almost feel like individual posts rather than an actual conversation. Well, in Hive, instead of just integrating with something like Slack, which is very popular for Asana users as well, Hive has a very, very good conversation, very, very good chat group built right in. So here you can see as I've expanded this area, I can have a discussion with my team directly while I view my project here to the right. And that's what I'm really looking for. I want to have that conversation while I'm looking at our individual tasks here on the other side of the screen. 
And maybe I prefer this Kanban view while I'm having this conversation. Meanwhile, Landon is viewing this in the Gantt chart view because that's what he prefers. And maybe Barb is looking at the team view, whatever works well for them. But I like this ability of having this chat, having this conversation built right into the application rather than having to integrate with Slack or some other tool, some other add-on as a part of it. And of course, if I don't want to view this, I can just minimize minimize it and get back to my regular view, but something that is, I think is a nice addition to the Hive atmosphere. So there you have it. There's a quick overview of Hive and some comparison against Asana. I'd love to hear what you think, especially if you've already spent some time with Hive. If you'd like to learn more, I'll leave a link to Hive so you can try it out for yourself. And I would love to hear your feedback and your comments. Remember to subscribe right here to the Simpletivity channel. Give this video a like, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.